Smart Book Builder Review. Hi there, I'm Victor. If you enjoy this video, please click on the like button. To say hi or ask questions to me directly, do so in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So this is a review of Smart Book Builder. It's an online software for creating what's called low content books. And actually, I recommend it. I put the link below if you're interested in getting this. But first, I really recommend watching this demo and or go to the sales page and really give it a good look over and see if it's something for you or not. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sales page. So here we are. There's a lot of information here and it's going to talk about what is low content. What are low content books? What are they about? But they have some really good videos here to explain that as well as to demonstrate how to use this software that makes it easy for people to create these kind of a things. I'm just going to scroll through here really quick. For example, what if you want to create an Etsy shop and have coloring books or activity books or journals or a combination of those kind of things? What if you do an adult journal book that has coloring activities for adults? I mentioned some of this to my wife and she likes the idea of all of this. During the launch, they're going to be having a discounted price for some training that they have that is called Passive Income Publishing. And it's a training course that they have to show you how to go ahead and create the books and then put them on like Amazon uh, through KDP or maybe give you an idea of how to go ahead and do some research and then build your book and then get it out there so that you can maybe make some income with it. Now, I like publishing. I've created several books myself in the past that I get like once a month, I'll get like a little bit of money that comes in just because I made a book years ago, but it's still out there on Amazon and everything like that. That's another reason why I like stuff like this. And this has a lot of potential if it's something that you're interested in. Go through the sales page. Decide if it's something for you or not. Like I said, they have a lot of examples. Here's some examples of different videos that they have on, for example, how to create a journal, how to create a, an activity book, or download images, and how to upload images. Basically, what they're doing is they're saying, look, here's, here's the software they put together that just makes it easy to put the stuff together. Could you do all of this on Canva or something like that yourself? Of course you could. But here you have everything together and easier to be able to use. This is user friendly. There's a low learning curve to be able to use it and put it into action and everything. Here at the bottom of the sales page, there's questions that you can get some simple questions and answers. Now, they do have a refund available, but it is more along the lines of if you have problems and you can't get things to work and all of that. So what I would say is don't get this if it's just not something for you. If you're not going to create activity books or journals or something like that and be able to utilize it. Now, if you could create a journal, for example, or some kind of a planner for your business, Maybe the cost of this is what it would cost you to pay someone at Fiverr or something like that. Think of it that way. But if you're not going to actually put it into use, then this is probably not for you. If it's something that you're serious about, that you'd like to go ahead and create something on a regular basis, they actually have something that is called a gold package. What this is purchasing is a front end software that makes a lot of things available to you as far as image packs and coloring packs and activities. I'm going to show you in the demo in just a few minutes here, but they also have an upgrade that is called gold membership. It's $19 a month and it's going to go up after the launch to 29 a month. And what the 19 a month includes is all of the releases of their normal releases of new coloring packs and stuff that they launch on a monthly basis, averaging two packs a month at $17 a pack during the launch. And then the pack, each pack of coloring pack goes up to 27 
for the pack. But if you're a gold member, it's a, automatically added into the resources that you have available so that you can continue to do stuff. Also, if you're a gold member, you're able to upload your own images. And what happens is you upload the images, you create your books, and then your images go away after eight hours. Not your book, but the images. So it just gives you another way that you can bring images into the books that you want to make. So let's get right into the demo itself. So here we are. When you log into Smart Book Builder, this is what it looks like. And you have the home page. This is the home page. It's letting you know that they're a work in progress. This is a launch. They're refining and, and creating things better, making them better along the way. If you click on my books, it shows you the books that you've created. We'll do that in just a second so I can walk you through a short demo. Here they have some resources. This talks about the passive income publishing, which I mentioned. Uh, basically, they have a training course online that I believe during this launch is going to be one of the upsells, but it's almost like half price. Instead of $19.99 for a video online training course that has checklists and PDFs and everything to walk you through stuff, it's going to be, I think, $9.99 during the launch. So you might, if you're interested in creating an income and doing Etsy shop or online publishing with Amazon, this online training course might be a really good add-on to this and to do with this. I mentioned earlier that the gold membership gives you access to a lot more resources. These are different packs and they are released periodically through the month. And here you can download the packs up here where it says updates if you click on updates they actually talk about the packs when they release them and give you information about the pack like what to do with the pack and they even create like video tutorials so here it talks about they made a video to show you how you could use canva if you wanted to create unique coloring pages using the coloring pack if i wanted to create a low content book i click on my books and then new book then I give it a name create so after I've said I want to create a book I come here and I can add pages to my book so depending on what kind of book I'm gonna make might change what menu or block of pages I want to look at if I wanted to do coloring pages I could click on dogs for example and say add to book add to book whenever I add to book it shows me the pages that I've already added see I can scroll down and add to book there's a variety here as I'm saying add to book it's just adding them to my book and here again miscellaneous now sometimes I've noticed that the menu kind of goes crazy on me a little bit and so if I put the mouse over and I just quickly go to one of the items, it seems to work out. If I wanted to just look at the page, I can just click on it and take a look at it. Or if I'm happy to, I can add it to my book. Sudoku, there's a lot of different stuff here. And look, different variety of Sudoku as far as how difficult they are. And I'm adding a bunch of different stuff just for the fun of it here. And I can add to book. Now, what if I wanted to do an ABC activity book? Well, here's ABCs, right? I mean, there's a bunch of different stuff here. The idea is you figure out what you want to create a low content book of or for what your purpose is. What if I wanted to do a series for teaching the ABCs? And maybe I did all A's and then I did all B's and then and so on and so forth. See what I mean? You come up with your idea. Well, They'll help you do that with that PIP training course. They help you understand how to get all of that in action and everything. That's why I say it's probably a really good combination, the two. All right, so once I've selected everything I wanted to add to my book, I go back to my books. Here it shows me that I've added 11 pages and that there's three solution pages. 
and that becomes important in a little bit here because, well, you remember the puzzles that I selected and Sudoku and stuff like that? Well, those are pages that include solution pages and I can choose whether or not they're here. I can add custom pages. This is for the gold members. You can upload pages and everything. And here I can go back to add pages, cover template. This is going to show me the two different size books that I'm working with that I can choose from. And I can say get the template. And what that'll do is it'll give me a template so I can create my book cover for it. And the template shows me, you know, the sizes and everything that I need to make that easier. If I wanted to look at this, I can click right here to generate a PDF. And here I can choose what size book I want and whether or not I want numbers on the pages. And if I want the solutions included, and then I can say download. And so once I download my book, I can go ahead and look at it in the size that I told it that I wanted. As I'm just going to go through here real quick. And so remember those pages there because I need solutions for those puzzles, right? And here are the solution pages I talked about earlier. And I can close out. I could make as many of these books as I want to and everything. This is pretty simple, right? And I'm not going to get even more complicated with this because there's no reason to. As far as the gold membership makes a lot more stuff available to you and everything. And then if we come here, this right here is the PIP course I was telling you about that they have as an upsell also. Uh, for the $9.99 instead of, I think it's normally $19.99. In here, they have seven different training modules to go through. And as I scroll through them, so introduction, it has a video typically, and then it has a PDF. This one here has the training. It has a PDF. It has a video training, and it also has a checklist. And you'll notice that quite a few of these have a checklist also included so that you can go through the training, but you also have a checklist to go ahead and apply the training that you've been learning and everything. So it's pretty good stuff there like that. These are the training modules in the PIP. Now, this is not the Smart Book Builder. I'm talking about their training if you want to get it as an extra seven modules introduction research i'm just going to scroll through these really quick planning creating preparing for publication uploading the and publishing you can see there's a lot of information here and then it ends with this information about final thoughts ultimately smart book builder the big question is 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 it for you or not is it something that you would use so it's an online software, makes it easy to create the low content books. I showed you some of that in the demo. Take a look at the sales page. I like it because it gives you a lot of information. If it's just not for you, it should be obvious when you look at the sales page. If it's something you're interested in, then this might be a good thing. Uh, the big questions I think of when I look at all of this, just like any tool or software, will I use it? The front end is a pretty low cost for what the product can do. If you're considering using something like this on a regular basis, you might want to consider the gold membership and possibly the training on how to publish. If you've never done any self-publishing or anything like that, that could be very helpful. Overall, I like this and I, I recommend it. If you have any questions or anything like that, let me know and I'll respond to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, say hi to me in the comments below and subscribe to my channel.